Welcome to Trends on Thursdays, where I tell you about the trends I discussed with my clients this week. This week I'll talk about Google updates, AI and burgers, gift cards and Comcast. First up, Google has been heavy on updates, rolling out changes to some of their most popular platforms and like many big companies, they give you a lot of value basically for free, because remember that most Google products are in fact free. They're not keen on telling you when things change. The algorithm for search engine results changes so much, we basically subscribe to a service that forecasts them like the weather. This week's SEO will be sunny with a change of blank storms, because that's what happens when Google changes things. Anyways, one of the services I absolutely love remains Google My Business. It drives tons of traffic for many of our clients, it's totally free and provides great ROI for just a little TLC. However, it does need the TLC. This means logging on on a regular basis to check for any changes, post new photos, check on reviews, etc. One of these changes is the service area that used to be a number of miles and now has to be specified in other ways, zip code or DMAs for example. Google will try to figure this out from the old setting, but I wouldn't expect this to be accurate. I've also seen changes in business categories and hours that you have to accept or reject. So log on to your dashboard regularly and be sure to check it out. You'll also see stats like number of visitors, number of people that called your business that might just make you smile. Next up, we know AI is getting good at understanding what people are saying. If you think about the number of things Alexa, Google and Siri are capable of processing, it's pretty impressive, especially because we're dealing with different oh, accents. There she was. Now both Alexa and Siri still have problems with my Louisiana German version of English, but generally they get it pretty right. So McDonald's has recently acquired a voice recognition startup. The aim is to alleviate pressure on the restaurant employees by having AI take the order. And it makes sense. The easiest way to save labor with a soon rising minimum wage is to let AI do what it does best and that's predictable tasks. AI excels with things where an unexpected situation is very unlikely to occur. The number of words I might use in the McDonald's order are probably in the few thousands, which is easy peasy for AI to deal with, and I would presume that an operator can step in at any time. And remember that going the other way, meaning text-to-speech, is already being handled so impressive by Amazon that we started having some of our closings on our own automated phone calls recorded by AI. It does the trick when you need a quick announcement. Next up, holiday shopping behavior changes every year and for retailers it's important to keep an eye on what to expect. Gift card purchases are again a holiday shopping favorite. Gift cards made the top three of gifting categories along with clothing and electronics according to Hootsuite. It then makes perfect sense to push gift cards and their availability across platforms and throughout the season. Now remember that 93% of consumers have either given or received a gift card. The most important thing for retailers to remember is that 65% of cardholders spend an average of 38% above the value of the card. And of course, it's a great way to get people into your business that aren't usually shopping there making the holiday season an opportunity to load the wagon for the whole next year. E-gift cards only account for 25% of total, uh, total volume, that by the way exceeds over $160 billion last year. However, they are handy for last second gift giving and over a third of consumers would buy one. I've been there, you have a oh crap moment the night before Christmas and then you get an e-gift card you can print on the fly. One more, what makes Facebook appealing to many advertisers is the choose your own budget on demand option. I can advertise for as little as a few dollars a day and it only takes minutes to get started. Many digital ad platforms work similarly with buy-ins ranging anywhere from a dollar to twenty dollars a day. This is what's been eating the established media's lunch as they're still trying to sell me packages worth literally thousands. I can run ads on Spotify, Snapchat, YouTube, Facebook all from the comfort of my own desk and customize as I please. No sales rep, no paperwork. Comcast is trying their own version of build your own with their TV ad planner where I can buy my own schedule, upload ads, buy TV spots for as little as $250 for two weeks. Pandora is working on a similar model from what I hear, bringing their buy-in down from $5,000 over two months, which is out of reach for many small businesses. 
pay as you go is probably the future even for traditional media and that helps business. Well, that's it for your trends on Thursdays for this week. As usual, share this with someone who might benefit from any of these trends. I'll be back Monday. I'm Tobias Wilhelm.